What's up, everyone? What is happening? Okay, uh, haven't been able to upload any videos. Actually, I went to upload a video the other day, and um, I had an issue with the volume, with the with the audio. I had to take it down, and I got it fixed. So now I'm going to attempt to film that very same uh, video, or at least this, uh, the same topic. Now that I was trying to upload the other day, this is about um, an article that I was reading in my favorite newspaper in the whole world, the New York Daily News, the hometown uh, <laughs> paper, the the, the extreme leftist uh, newspaper we have here in New York City. I'm going to read this article and then point out all of the uh, the nonsense that that's put by these journalists, which is nothing more than activists. This is uh, just another uh, propaganda piece. Uh, once again, you would think they would have the education level to um, properly cite sources and use secular sources and stuff like that, which they don't. And I'll get into that in a second, but but first, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, help me grow my channel. Uh, now I'm going to go to the video, I'm sorry, to the uh, to the article, a uh, third black transgender woman killed by gun violence in a week shows alarming trend. Um, let's see. The brutal killing of a third transgender woman of color in just a week is sinking is shining, I'm sorry, a spotlight on hate crimes and anti-transgender violence in the U.S., with some experts calling the trend a serious crisis. In the early hours of Sunday, May 19th, Michelle Tamika Washington, 40, a longtime advocate for the transgender community, died after being shot several times at the Franklinville neighborhood of North Philadelphia. Uh, before I go any further, my condolences to uh, uh, Tamika Washington's, uh, Michelle Tamika Washington's family and friends. Uh, violence should never be acceptable at all. Uh, in our society. Her murder came just a day after, uh, I don't even know if I should try to pronounce this name, uh, Mulajeja uh, Booker, 23, was found dead in Dallas, Texas. Booker made headlines last month when she survived a mob-like beating following a minor traffic accident at a parking lot. Uh, in the video, she can be seen fighting several attackers who threw her on the floor and assaulted her in broad daylight. She ended up in the hospital with a broken wrist and se several uh, face fractures. A week earlier, 21-year-old Claire Legato was fatally shot in the head in Cleveland after an argument broke between Legato, her mother, and John Booth, the suspected shooter. Um, a little problem with all of this because this article is about uh, a serious crisis, as it was quoted in the article, saying about a uh, trans um, shooting of transgendered individuals, and I do believe uh, they are uh, violence towards transgendered, and the article does... Uh, talk about hate uh, towards them and transphobia and stuff like that, and then they go ahead and they they're writing about two two individuals who were killed. If by their own admission, their own words, uh, the reason why they were killed uh, won't uh, won't be a good enough reason. Having an argument is never a good enough reason to kill someone, uh, but it doesn't appear that this was done out of hate, um, or maybe the argument came, you know was. Because of hate, we're not sure. We don't know why uh, this happened. Um, the person was killed by someone who sh who she appeared to know. Uh, in the first incident where they talk about uh, uh, Booker being beat up by a group, it was a group of men who beat her up in a parking lot after a minor traffic accident in a parking lot. So this doesn't, uh, um, it doesn't scream hate crime. It, 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 it screams altercation after a car accident. Um, I don't know how they can mix that up with um, with with a hate crime. Uh, they also don't, you know, they also failed to mention that the people who attacked her uh, happened to be black men, uh, which is important because later on in this article they're going to talk about racism. Okay, let's go further down. This is definitely an ongoing trend we are seeing. Beverly Tillery, executive director of the Anti-Violence Project, the country's largest anti-LGBTQ violence organization, told the Daily News. Uh, this is the problem. I would like to know what does the FBI have to say about this? Is it a trend? I'd like to know what the NYPD or not the NYPD because that's just New York City, but all local law enforcement and the Department of Justice. I'd like to know. What does secular sources, what are the statistics behind this? I don't want to know what an organization with an agenda has to say about this. Uh, this whole article, you will notice that all they do is mention, they cite sources that are um, left-leaning, they support the LGBT community, uh, it's not a secular source, they have every reason to want to spin a particular type of narrative. Let's go further down. We've been seeing now, 
that for years, trans women of color in particular are disproportionately impacted by hate violence. There's the word hate violence. She said, according to anti-LGBT Q violence data, the AVP has collected for over 20 years. Now, here's a problem. Um, you know, for years now, uh, uh, trans women of color are in, are in particular, in particular, are disproportionately impacted by hate crimes. Well, by hate violence. Um, well, violence in itself, uh, uh, people of color, black people are disproportionately victims of violence because the majority of uh, uh, crimes that do happen in this country happen in black communities. Maybe not a majority, but it's disproportionate. Uh, so they have a lot more, a higher level of crimes and violence in their community than, than whites have in their community. If you are a transgender person who, have, who is black and you live in a black community, um, it will fit right in with the disproportionate amount of crime and violence in your community or even against you. Um, black men are killed. I think there's a couple of thousands a year that are killed. This article talks about in 2019, the next paragraph, matter of fact, I, I believe it's the next paragraph, says about five people were killed. Um, in 2019. So let's see, let's go to the next article. According to the Human Rights Campaign, there have been five known deaths of transgendered people in 2019. All of them were black transgendered women. The actual number could be a lot higher, human rights advocates and anti-violence groups claims. So, uh, you know, five of them, which, which again, like I'll say, uh, I said before, I don't condone violence in any way, shape or form, unless you're defending yourself, your family, your property or stuff like that. Uh, killing someone because you don't like them or whatever the case may be, you know, because they, they happen to be gay or, or because they're white or because they're, they're, they're Spanish or Chinese or, or, you know, Muslim or whatever the case may be. It's just, it's never a good enough reason. It's not acceptable. But if there's a high level of crime in black communities and black men are, are often targeted and, uh, uh, victims of violence more often than anyone else in the country uh, at the rate of, you know, a couple of thousand a year. And then you have five of them happen to be um, transgendered. It kind of fits in with the with the numbers, with the statistics that you would expect to see in, you know, coming from a community like that. Let's go to the next paragraph. Uh, J.W. Walker, a, an organizer with gays against guns, <laughs> told the news that sometimes trans women murders are not even accountable, accounted for. Law enforcement often misgenders trans women who are murdered in their official police report. So unless there are family members or community members who come forward to identify these women uh, publicly, a, as trans, sometimes their trans existence just goes completely, gets completely wiped away. Now, yeah, I, I believe that could be the case, but I do believe in the in the police report they will say that the individual was, um, um, you know, was uh, a cross dresser. I don't know what what language they would use in the police report. Um, I don't know if they say if they'll say trans, if they would say, um, you know, I, I don't I don't know what language they would use. Uh, but yeah, I, I can see that um, there's probably not a category yet. Uh, um, or in some places, not a category, but you see, this is like foreshadowing in a way, because what, what you know, what they're doing is they're they're saying, you know, this is the problem. It's a trend. It's it's a crisis. It's this is that, and you know, but wait, there's more. You know what I mean? There, there could be so much more, uh, but oftentimes it, it gets, um, you know, uh, uh, it gets completely wiped away because they're not put into the right category, so they could be more murdered. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like a fear factor, fear tactic that they're doing. You know, that they're. they're they're inflating. They're trying to. They're like pre-inflating. You know, in people's mind that that, that more trans people are being uh, uh, being assassinated or being murdered just for being trans. And it's like so far they gave two examples in this article. In both examples, you can see that it doesn't appear that the person was murdered because they were trans. You get one, or at least assaulted because they were trans. That there's no evidence of that, but yet the the person who wrote this is writing it up as if that is the case. Let's go further down. Okay, uh, GAG is an anti-violence organization made up by LGBT people and their allies who fight flawed gun control laws. <laughs> oh man, no, they don't. <laughs> For I mean, let's be real. Uh, the LGBT is a, uh, a extremely left leaning their left wing we know that there's not many of them that are on the right although there are some and i do see a, a growing number of people who who are gay or, or even trans who are on the right but majority of them are on the left and no matter what you do with guns they will always see it as a flawed gun control law you would have to completely wipe guns off the face of, of existence for them not to think that it is flawed let's be real about that okay but when it comes to violence against trans women there's also the issue of law enforcement frequent 
unwillingness to treat trans people as people deserving of protection. Of course, this is just an opinion. This is something that's just throwing out there. They didn't cite any evidence towards this, any sources. They didn't give us any references, any examples. Um, the, the frequent unwillingness to treat trans people as people deserving of protection. Um, if I called the cops because I was having an issue with someone, the cops really wouldn't give a shit. They would come by, they would take a police report and tell me there's nothing they can do. That's that. I would have to wait until the person kills me for the cops to get involved. I would have to wait for the person to show up to my house trying to kill me for the cops to get involved. Uh, just telling the cops that that this is what's happening to you, that you're being bullied or picked on. Uh, they'll say, okay, well, you know, give us a name. Maybe we'll we'll give them an order of protection. You know, if there's reason to arrest them, maybe we'll we'll arrest them. But like, there's really nothing nothing the cops can really do that you know if you're not willing to take a stand uh the cops really can't help the cops were always after the fact by the way it's always after the fact after someone assaulted you after you know the violence occurred after something after someone harassed you they were always after the fact so no there's just not much protection the police can really do for anyone this is not because you're trans and maybe in some cases i mean of course that people have all kinds of bigotry so i'm sure there's been there's been cases where the cops are like i don't care about you anyway because i don't consider you to be a human yeah that that could be the case 100 percent. i never deny people having thoughts like that but just because you say it and you put it in an article that doesn't mean it makes it necessarily true especially when you don't have any evidence to back it up let's go further since the group's formation in 2016 in response to the massacre at the Pulse Gay nightclub in Orlando, Florida, that killed 49 people, uh, gag staged demonstrations to put a face to the senseless violence faced by the victims. They want to show that these women's lives are not forgotten and that they their stories don't get lost. He said, you know, the funny part is that they don't mind that the shooter of uh, in the, the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida, that killed the 49 people, they don't mind that his face gets uh, 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 just gets lost and that no one brings up the fact that he was Muslim. No one brings up the fact that he was a terrorist. No one brings up the fact that um, uh, 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 that there is certain cultures of people around the world that literally want all gay people dead and trans people dead. They don't bring that up. They won't talk about that. Instead, they defend, they'll, they'll defend those very same, uh, 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 cultures of people who hate them. It's just, it's the weirdest thing you can ever see in your life. It's this unholy alliance between the LGBTQ, uh, R2D2, C3PO community and, and Islam. They have this, this crazy unholy alliance that I, I just, I never get it. I don't understand it. Uh, that man walked into the Pulse nightclub and killed 49 innocent people all for just being different than himself. Um, they don't really bringing up, bring it up as much as far as his race, his religion, his ideology or anything like that. Uh, they only talk about their oppression. They, they're not speaking about the fact that majority, and, and, and I challenge anyone, I challenge anyone to, um, to prove me wrong. They won't tell you that a majority of, uh, you know, if not a majority, if not all of the black transgendered women who are disproportionately victims of violence, the suspect in almost every case is black themselves. This is something that they don't talk about. Uh, but then in the next paragraph, they'll use the, the word racism. So let's jump down to the next paragraph. The violence which affects black transgendered women disproportionately highlights the intersection of sexism, racism, and LGBTQ phobia. And what's worse, that they can also experience it in different parts of their lives um so uh you know again you know they brought you brought up racism and sexism and and and, and lgbtq phobia you know that you're bringing this up so i would like to name names i would like to point at the faces of the person responsible for this type of behavior so when you're talking about racism towards the transgender black women and the hatred towards them for not only you know the, you know sexism towards them because they think they're women I, I've, I've heard this uh, this is sort of like a new term where it's like trans sexism it's like this weird um you know since they think you think you're a woman now i hate you even more because i hate women it's like this weird uh, uh um, new form of sexism against transgender people uh racism and lgbtq phobia against the black transgender women i would like to know who is doing this to them could you point that person out could you tell me who it is could we talk about it i would like to know what is the race of the people that's behind that i would like to know that uh this way uh maybe you could have one less thing to uh berate white men straight white men about okay the 
Okay, the, uh, okay, let me go down to the next article, uh, next uh, paragraph. Our data shows that people are consistently experiencing hate violence, not just by strangers on the street, but they also experience hate violence by people they're dating, landlords, people they're working with, said AVP's Beverly Tiller, Tiller said. So if, you, so if you are trans person of color, you might be experiencing hate violence in a number of different pockets of your life. Now we're talking about violence, right? We're not talking because I know the left, they have, they have a problem with words. They like to redefine the meaning of words. So um, to them, words of violence. Now we're talking about actual real violence. I hope the person who wrote this is talking about actual real physical violence, the only type of violence that there is. Okay. So for some reason you can experience hate violence by uh, by people they're dating. So someone is willing to date you and then use hate violence against you. Uh, by landlords, a landlord will rent an apartment to you, but then use hate violence against you. It makes no sense. Why rent the apartment to you in the first place? Why would I date you if I would later on? That's like me dating a black woman. And then uh, later on, I like, I beat her up for being black. And it's like, why would you date her in the first place? It's, it's, it's stupid. It's just, it, it's just completely backwards. Um, I just don't get with where this person was going with, with what they said. I, I know this is in quotation, so this is something that someone quoted, but it was placed in the article, and it was used to strengthen the position of the person who wrote the article. So when you do something like this and you quote someone, you are standing by it. She, The person who wrote this article is in favor of protection of the transgender people, especially the black transgendered uh, individuals. Uh, and now they... they They've used uh, quotes taken only from organizations that fit that narrative. This is confirmation bias 100, 100%. So you are standing by, and this is the New York, the New York Daily News, so they're all very, very, very lefty, lefty uh, over there. So um, you're standing by everything that is printed here in this article. So you take full responsibility for what you are writing. Okay, the climate is such that a lot of the homicides and attacks against trans women of color, there is an underlying climate of transphobia and hate that is underneath underneath a lot of what is going on. Um, and maybe in some cases there are, but again, you haven't pointed to a case yet that was actual trans, you know, transphobic uh, case. You haven't shown at all in this whole article. You haven't even mentioned or, or given us a reference or... You know, if I give me a name of a person that I can look up and 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 I know that that person was a, a transgendered person of color who was victimized for being a transgendered person of color. You haven't even done that. You haven't given us any reference. I, you know, what are you talking about? You know, you're talking about the five deaths of transgendered people of color in 2019 when there's literally thousands of deaths of black men a year. So, you know, again, you're not giving any uh, 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 any real numbers here. You're not giving us any real statistics. You're not giving. Could you give me a name of a person who's doing this to them? Could you, you know, was there a case that we know of that a person was killed because they were a transgender woman of color? Um, was a person arrested for that? Uh, and if so, I, I hope they get the rest of the life. You know, the rest of the life is in prison or at least the death penalty uh, for doing something like that. Uh, but. You're not giving this to any of us. You're just writing nonsense and expecting, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of, you know, Paul, especially in New York City, plenty of lefties that are just going to swallow this up and believe every word of it. Um, they're going to act like, you know, it's funny because when, you know, when I'm online with people like this and debating them, they always want me to like uh, uh, to write, you know, a whole novel to them of, 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 of whatever my position is. And I have to like properly cite all my sources and it's better be, you know, it better be particular sources that satisfy them. It better be secular sources. And they have all these rules of writing, um, you know, writing, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 when you're arguing someone with someone, there's all these rules, but they don't follow it themselves when they actually write the, uh, the, the, the articles, the New York transgender Ad advocacy group, uh, is organizing a rally in Washington Square Park Friday evening to demand justice. This was yesterday, by the way, for the death of Mulajeja, whatever, Booker, uh, Michelle Tamika, Washington, and Claire uh, uh, Legato, and calling for action from the institution that are designed to protect them. Uh, no more of, oh, what is this popped up? And then the last, uh, whatever, whatever uh, quote, it, it's meaningless. Um, so there you have it. It's just once again... Uh, just more nonsense from the left. Uh, you know, a terrible article. You didn't even take the time to cross-reference anything or, or give us something to cross-reference. You, you, you quoted, 
uh, a bunch of um, uh, um, uh, institute people from an institution that is left leaning. So they have that narrative already built in. Uh, you didn't give us FBI statistics, uh, um, uh, the, the Department of Justice. You didn't give us uh, local law enforcement in the areas of any of the areas. Uh, you didn't give us any real information. You, you know, this is all confirmation bias. And then in the examples of the three individuals you're talking about that were killed, um, at least two of them, it appears that it wasn't, uh, uh, it, at least it appears it wasn't a hate crime. At least there's no uh, evidence of a hate crime. Just saying that, you know, the person was found dead. Okay, the person was found dead. You know, why were they killed? I would like to know that. And according to this article, obviously they were killed to being, you know, trans women of color. It's like, oh, you know, you know, obviously, I mean, why bother investigate anything? I mean, we don't need an investigation with, 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 with a writer like this. They'll just completely make shit up and, you know, whatever fits their, their narrative, their narrative, whatever their feelings are, that's what it is. Uh, this article is just terrible from start to finish. Um, if you were their, their journalist professor, um, you should be fired. You really should be fired. Whatever, whatever university they went to should be sued for giving, allowing this person to get a degree. I mean, maybe they did everything right when they were in school, and then when they got out there in the real world, and here they are working for uh, the Daily News, which is one of the worst newspapers in the history of of, of journalism. Uh, they're not journalists at all. They're they're really nothing more than activists and propaganda writers. That's really what they are. Um, for the person who did that, you know, I, I mean, at this point, you can't even blame the editor for this because, you know, the whole paper needs to be destroyed. This is the same owners of the New York Post. Um, clearly, they favor the Post over the, the, the Daily News. They're like, yeah, you know, we have, we own both newspapers, but that one over there, that, that one over there to the left, that's the Daily News. We don't give a shit about that newspaper over there. That That's just garbage. We care a little more about the New York Post, but, you know, but they're in bed together. I mean, it's the same company, same owners. I mean, um, you, you know what they're doing over there. It's all full of shit. They're trying to corner both markets. I understand it. I mean, I'm a capitalist, so I understand exactly what they're doing. But this article is just terrible. Uh, through and through, um, they, they, they really do, at this point, the Daily News at least, they know that their readers are stupid. They know that they have a bunch of stupid people who read their newspaper, and it's so easy to insult. I mean, to insult the intelligence of the people reading their newspapers because these people fall for it, uh, um, hand over fist. So, you, you know, what are you going to do? I really feel bad for the people who read this newspaper that you're that dumb that you would read something like this and shake your head and say, "Oh wow, we have to do something to protect these trans women of color." And you know, it's like you're just getting duped into believing this nonsense. I, you know, I, I don't know if these these three individuals maybe. Um, maybe they got themselves killed. Maybe they got themselves involved in a situation that led to a serious, you know, to, to a very bad outcome. You know, maybe, um, you know, maybe they started some shit with the wrong person. You know, again, I don't condone violence, but if that's what happened, if they started some shit with the wrong person, with a person who's very violent, and then the person ended up shooting them, it's like, well, they didn't shoot you because you are a trans woman of color, like the article is suggesting. They shot you because you started some shit with them and they're violent people. Um, you know, it's like slapping a gang member. You know, no doubt he's going to come back with, with, with his, you know, with his boys and there's going to be a problem. So, you know, we don't know exactly what happened with these with these individuals. And the article doesn't doesn't tell us and it doesn't give us uh any reference of a, of a trans person of color that was killed for being a transgendered person of color. This is just nonsense they're spouting out of their mouth and expecting people to just eat it up because they know they will because people are just stupid who read this paper. So, all right, that's all I got. I think I went a little further than expected with this, um, but it is what it is. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to uh, plan on my second video uh, in a few minutes, and I'll see you guys next time.